All right. We want to talk about function operations and composition. That means what we're doing here is we're doing operations, mathematical operations with functions. I just want to give you the notation so you see what we're going to be doing. <coughs> if you see this guy right here, <coughs> f plus g of x, that means I'm talking about two functions, f and g, and guess what I'm trying to do with these guys? I'm trying to add them together. So that means you would just do f of x plus g of x. That also means that if I had asked you this, if I, if I told you what f and g were, if I actually named those functions, and I said, I want you to evaluate f of g of 4, you would evaluate your function f at 4, you would evaluate your function g at 4, and then you would do what? You would add them. That's all you're doing. You've got two different functions. Plug it into both, and then do what it says to do, whether it's add, <coughs> Even subtract, if I have f minus g of x, that means f of x minus g of x. To understand that we're talking about subtraction, so the order is very important to us, right? If the problem actually says g minus f, what should you do? You subtract f from g. Right, you do g of x then minus f of x. <coughs> if I have f times g of x, I'm going to be doing what? I'm going to be multiplying these. Now, the way you may see this in the textbook, you won't see it like f times g with that little dot there. You'll just see it like this, fg. It's, it's the same thing, just so you're not confused later on. You know the same thing even works for division? Okay. I mean, th this to me, I don't know about you, but this that it seems obvious, right? If you're adding functions, then you can add them separately. If you're subtracting them, you can separate them and, and subtract them. And there's one last little guy right here, and this is called composition. Function composition. And this is the notation that you will see. Please understand this is not a dot, but this is actually an open circle. This is talking about the function f composed with g. And what it means is that you've got f, and what you're doing is that you are plugging g of x into it. This is like the turducken of mathematics. Okay? You plug, you stuff the x into the g, and you stuff that into the f. Turducken? It's a chicken stuffed inside of a duck stuffed inside of a turkey, turkey. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds like I'm missing out on something. It's just like it's just like on Big Bang Theory, the what to briskaville? Gefilte to fish stuffed inside of a brisket stuffed inside of a turkey. Uh, so the way we read this is we read this as F of g of x. And you know, you've already actually done some function composition. Plugging one function inside of another. Uh, but if I just said this, if I said f of x equals 3x plus 5 and g of x equals x squared minus 2. If I, if I just say that. And then I ask you to do this. Evaluate f of g <coughs> of 6. What does that mean to do? Remember the turducken? Stuff it correctly. That means you do f of g of 6. What's g of 6? Okay, so this means f of 34. So I'm not playing 6 into f. I plug 6 into G, I stuff 6 into G, and I got something, right? And what am I going to do with that? Stuff it into the other function, F. So what's F of 34? 107. 107? Can I trust you on that? Oh, you're using this with the equation above it, okay. I gave you F and G, I'm using these yeah, guys right okay, here. Yeah. I got you. 
Now, do you think it would be the same thing if I said g of f of 6? Is that the same thing? Order of operations, right, you've got to stuff it correctly. What's f of 6? So this means g of 23, and then 23 goes into g. You know what 23 is, right? 23 is the name of an FM road that goes through Copperfield. 529. So 529 minus 2 is 527. So the order is very important to us.